What's up YouTube, this your boy Sinister. I know everybody been waiting on me to do a new video. So today I'm going to show y'all how to check your fluids when you enter. So, you got to have your gloves. You got to have your old dirty bag. Follow me. Now, in the morning when you're doing your pre-trip, you got to make sure that your, your engine is cool. So when you get right here, Check your engine dipstick. You're gonna take it out. And the first time you take it out, it's gonna have oil on it. Of course. You're gonna take your rag and you're gonna wipe it off. And on here, it'll say add a add a full. You can see that. Now you're gonna put it back in. Put it in, reattach it where it don't come out, turn it, pull it back out. And what you want to do is, you want to make sure it's, a, it's past that full line. So, I do this like two times, sometimes three, just to double check, triple check. And it's good. So I ain't got to add no, no engine oil to it. And when you want to add engine oil to it, you'll go right here. The engine oil. Make sure your cap is on tight because as you drive, your engine oil will spill out all over your engine. Don't forget to put it on after you add engine oil in because it'll spill up. Trust me, it happened to me already. So... That's where that goes. Power stand fluid. You can take this out, grab the rag. And on here, it shows add a full. If you can see that, you can wipe it off. Dip it back in, attach it where the screw is tight. Take it out. Check it, and it's good. So while you on this side of your engine, you also want to make sure to check your, your, your hoses, make sure they're in, in good condition. They're not Frayed, cracked, don't got no holes, properly fastened. Your steering column, check it, pull on this stuff. Don't just look at it, tug on it. Make sure it's tight. The hose is here. You know, make sure everything's tight. Check the hoses, tug on stuff. You know, don't just sit there, look at it. And then go on and be like, oh, okay, I'm good to go. And get your bag. Wipe, wipe your hose down. I'm going to show y'all the technique that I use. Give me a second. This is a personal trick of mine that I started doing. So when, when that time comes at DOT, I actually want to look at my engine. My hoses look good. So... Take a little armor roll. Get some of this at any truck stop or your auto zone. And on here it says help prevent cracking, fading, discoloration, and premature aging. So this is what I'll do. It keeps the rubber looking good. my technique that I use. I do it on my brake lines and everything so my brake lines don't look dry and cracked like, you know, I don't take care of it. So when they look at that and they see that, that my rubber's shiny, they know I take care of my truck. Let's go around the other side. Alright, my 
if you want off and you hear me just by running this truck next to me. But on this side is where your washing fluid is. What you want to do is make sure your washing fluid is always full. Make sure your cap is tight. It's your antifreeze. Never fill it up to the neck. Because what happens is as you drive, it gets hot and it'll overflow on you. That's why mine is sitting right there. Make sure your cap is tight. Then on this side, you also want to make sure you check your belts. Tell them. You just look over the engine and make sure everything is tight, the brackets and everything. So, that's what it is. Let's go on the other side. So, basically, that's how you inspect your engine. Overlook everything. Know, check your wire in, make sure everything look good. Don't just sit there and stare at it. You no, know, pull on it. Check it. Get your bottle on the wall. Do this. Let it be on there. And wipe the rubber down. Keeps your rubber looking good. There you go. You know, wipe things down. I always wipe my engine down. I like to keep it looking good. Got to take care of your engine. You know, this is the brain of the truck. Got to, you got to take care of your engine. If you don't, you're going to run into problems. Going to run into breakdowns. If you come into, becoming the lease purchase, uh, if you're going into lease purchase, or you decide to become an owner operator, these are the things that you got to do. And these are the, this technique I learned on my own. I did it on my own because I wanted to find another way to have my engine look good. So, you know, I always wipe it down. I like to get the dust out of there. And just have it look good. You know, like I said, take pride in your ride. And that's what I do. This stuff is real good on rubber. Do not use it on your gas pedal or your brake pedal or your clutch because your foot just slip off. So, this is a Cummins engine for those who don't know. The red engine is Cummins, the yellow one is Caterpillar, and this is a 2014 truck. And, um, it's good, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. I don't got a max force engine, so I barely have any problems putting those with this truck. And I'm gonna take care of this truck, and down the line, most likely, I'll probably try to purchase it from night when that time comes around. Let me show y'all this filter. This filter right here is for your fuel. It keeps particles from ending up that it filters the fuel, the diesel fuel, when you fill up. You know, anything that's in the um, in the fuel, the diesel fuel, will get caught up in the filter, so it doesn't mess your engine up. So, I always wipe that down. Keep it looking good. So, that's what it is. So, my filter, my filter is good. I've been here, you can see when the filter start going bad. It's hard to kind of see. So, by YouTube, that's the, the engine. I'm gonna do a more thorough inspection on the engine and bring y'all a more series on the engine to help y'all out. So this is your boy Sinister. And take care of your equipment and your equipment will take care of you. Peace out, your boy from night, you're right, bro.